Hey guys, welcome to the video and here today we're doing a PS4 tutorial, something a little bit different. I haven't done one of these in a while. I will be doing, I think, another PS4 video here shortly, but before then I'm going to uh, release a PS3 one. It's going to cover some of the stuff with uh, the recently released 484 OFW firmware. We're going to talk about Rebug a bit and uh, some other things involving, you know, custom firmwares, official firmwares and stuff like that. Anyway, here today I'm going to show you how to use this PS4 Droid Trainer. So this trainer is an app that installs into your Android device and it allows you to run or install cheats to various games on your modded PS4. Obviously you need to have a modded PS4 and today the one we'll be using will be running on 505. You're going to then need to come here. I'll put a link in the description to the thread and download the APK. I've already run it through Virus Total and some other online virus checkers. It came out clean. I also ran it through my um, virus checker on the phone, which is what I'll be using today. And yeah, everything came out nice and clean. You're going to then have to be able to run Hen and Web RTE. There's various methods on how to do this. This is not a tutorial on how to run payloads or exploits. You should already know how to do that. But um, this is Al Azif's um, uh, exploit playground where he has all kinds of stuff for various versions of PS4. And here we're in the 505 section and you can run one of the hens. We'll cover that when we get to it. I use hen 1.7, but 1.8 does work uh, as well. And then you're going to need to run web RTE. So if you're self-hosting these files, that's fine, like I do with my Exploit Playground. I've actually updated it. If you're interested in using it, it's version 3.5. I've added the web RTE. Um, I've also updated my ESP8266 uh, files. So for those of you who are using the little mini uh, ESP Arduino boards, the Wi-Fi boards, you can uh, get the updated version here. Actually, the let me go to the main thing here. The KMZ505 Kex, that's where the full version is. And 3.5 will be up by the time this video goes up. I, again, only recommend that if you're going to use a PC or run it from your phone or something that can handle the full uh, exploit playground. And for those of you running the ESP8266 boards, the files will be here in this bin folder. So with all that in mind, let's go ahead and go over to the desktop. Okay, guys, now you should already know how to install APKs onto your phone or your Android device, so I'm not going to cover that. I already have my phone here opened up, and I've already installed it. Once you've installed the app, make absolutely sure that you reboot your phone. This app only asks for like two or three permissions, and it's just like to access the Internet and to have permissions to, um, you know, read and write files onto your storage device. Um, because it's going to put files there when we updated the first time. But before all of that, once you're done installing it, make sure you reboot your phone. Once you've done that, then let's go ahead and let's launch it. And the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and click on update. Now, when you click update, what it's doing is that it's making the connection to the database. It's getting all the cheat files and all the you know uh, supporting files it's getting that from that database or that server and it's putting everything into your phone. This is where the offline and online come to play. When you're ready to run cheats, and I'm going to show you in a bit, when you're ready to run cheats, you have these two options. If you pick online, your Android device has to make a connection to the internet. It's going to connect to that database and it's going to look for the cheat for whatever game it is that you're using. Or you can look for the cheats yourself. But if you use the offline option, then what it does is that it looks for those cheats right from within your phone. I always recommend the offline option. That's because all the files are already in your phone. The exact same ones that you would be getting if you go online. The difference here is that because they're on your phone and you're connected to the same network as the PS4, you're going to get better performance, better reliability, better stability, quicker, all that good stuff. When you click online, you have to make that connection online. If that um, you know server is experiencing you know heavy traffic, then there may be lag. Maybe it takes multiple tries to connect. 
Maybe they didn't pay their, their light bill and they forgot and you can't connect to it at all. So yeah, I always recommend that you use offline and it's the exact same files anyway. You also don't need to update this every time you use it. Maybe once every few days or once a week will be fine because this doesn't get updated daily. It just gets updated once in a while. Okay, so now we have our PS4 going. And by the way, if when you get out of the program, out of the PS4 Droid Trainer and come back, uh, you'll see this here. If the numbers disappear, don't worry about it. The files are still in your device. They haven't gone anywhere. That's just normal. And the next thing you need to do is make sure that the IP address of your PS4 is correctly in here. If it's wrong, then this is not going to work. So make sure it's exact. I'm not going to show you how to get that. You should already know how to get the IP of your PS4. The game that we'll be using here today is Dead Nation Apocalypse Edition. I played this on the PS3. It's a fun little top-down game. And from this point forward, by the way, neither one of these two things need to be connected to the internet. Not your PS4, not your Android device. As long as they're connected to the same network, that's what's important. Um, so for those of you who have the exploit stored on your PS4 cache, then, you know, that may be beneficial to you. But if you do need to connect to the Internet, that's fine. If you're using like, you know, someone else's DNS or whatever, that's perfectly fine. If um, you're running the files like I am here today uh, from my PC and there's my IP right there for um, for this program, which I've already covered this one in a previous tutorial. Um, that's fine, too. If you're running them from the actual phone, if you're using your phone as a server, um, yeah, that works just as well. So, you know, whatever, you know, works best for you is fine. So let's go ahead and let's open up the uh, the exploit and we need to run hen. So let me go ahead and bring up uh, my 505 exploit here. Right. And then we are going to run hen. Now you can run, you know, hen 1.7, 1.8. You can run Mira hen, but I use 1.7 because it seems to work uh, the best, although 1.8 seems to work just fine, too. So let's go ahead and run that. And I'm just going to wait for the confirmation. I'll wait for the. Uh, confirmation there, the verification to go away before I move on to the next thing. Now, at this point, we're going to hold the circle button or the back button. We're going to keep holding it until the page disappears. And then we will reload the exploit. So I'm going to go ahead and reload it. If it doesn't load, we can just tap the circle button to go back, wait a couple of seconds, go back in it. So that way it reloads properly. And there we go. Now we're, we'll go ahead and we will launch the web RTE, which is right here. So let's do that. And I'll wait for the confirmation. Now we'll get a couple of confirmations here. We'll get the PS4 trainer confirmation. There it is. And then we'll get another one after that. There you go. And at this point, you can go ahead and press the PS button on your controller to get back to the main menu. And from here, we will go ahead and launch our game. Now, notice we haven't done anything here on this side yet. We are about to, and I suggest that you wait till you at least get to the main menu of your game in order to try out the cheats. And if they don't work, you could try going into the actual game and then try launching them from there. But, you know, they should work even from the menu. All right, so let's go ahead and... Let's get started. I'm just going to skip all the stuff. And I'm going to start off from the campaign. All right, so here we are. Now, what I'm going to do here is at this point, what we're going to do is pick whether we are going to use the offline method or the online method. I've already described the two, uh, you know, the differences between both to you. I'm going to do the offline method. So let's do that. And it should auto detect your game. There we go. 
So it's CUSA00176, that's what this game is. So we'll just hit OK. And then it automatically brings up the cheats here. Let's go ahead and click in there. And here are all the different cheats for this game. So let's go ahead and let's activate infinite health. It says health enable, and we should get a confirmation up on the screen, which we do on our uh, TV there. And then we will, let's do infinite ammo. We get confirmation here on the Android device and again uh, on the PS4. All right, so we'll click OK there. And let's go ahead and try it out and see what happens. So you can see I'm shooting there and look at my bullets. They are not going down. There we go. All right now I'm going to let him attack me and let's see what happens. And there we go. So the health goes down a little bit, but then it just jumps right back up. So yeah, we are good to go. Now the same thing happens with money. I can, you know, uh, put infinite money in here. I can go to the shop and just buy stuff. And yeah, my money never goes away. Now the good thing here also, and I've noticed, and this may not work with every game, but it may... Um, it, it, it may work with yours, depending on which game it is. You can actually close out of this program altogether and the cheats will work. I'll show you here in a minute. Whenever you want to use or, or use this on another game, all you need to do is just, uh, you know, close the application, uh, you know, make sure you, you close it, pick the next game once the game loads, then you can just come back here, you can close this and you know, run it again, hit offline again. So that way, um, you know, it can detect which game it is. Now, of course, not all games are going to work. You, you know, you can check to see if your game is on the list. And I'll show you that here in a second. So let me go back into the game. <clears throat> and let me just show you, I'm going to hit close here. Okay, and let's back out. And I'm going to actually just close the application altogether. And now watch, we should be able to uh, still have uh, the stuff we enabled working. Let me go ahead and let them attack me. And you can see my health goes down a little, but then it jumps right back up. And if you look at my bullets, they are not going down. So it's still working, even though I've closed out the application. So technically I could even turn off the phone and everything should still work. Okay. So let me go ahead now and let's open this back up. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and just let me get out of the application here or close the game. All right, now that the game is closed, I'm gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and click offline. It's not gonna make a connection because we're not in a game. So what it will do is it will just um, load up all of the um, all of the games here that have cheats. So you can just scroll through them if you want and see, you know, which games have cheats. And it tells you the version and then it tells you, uh, you know, what update the game needs to be on in order for the cheats to work. And you can always do a search you know, by just typing the name here up on top in the search bar, you can do it that way. So yeah, um, but that's pretty much it guys. So hopefully this worked for you and you know, you get to use your cheats an easier way. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. That always helps keep me motivated to keep making videos like this. As always, I appreciate you watching. We'll see you on the next one and let me know what you think about the PS4 Droid Trainer. If you like it, if you don't, how it works for you, all that good stuff. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Take care.